Hello. Of course, it's been a while since we've done a Pale Moon deck profile, and before the new set comes out with Romany Labyrinth, welcome to take over a Nexacore Pale Moon style. Who are you? I'm the only girl in the freaking team that know how to play Pale Moon. Gabe, challenge you next next time. That's not your. That's not a name. That is a name, and I am the one and only Ash. So the ground. Welcome to Pale Moon Tech Over. So the first deck we are looking at, as I showed, is my Silverstone deck. Yes, this is a confusing deck. So try to keep up, and it is based upon a Canadian build. So first card. Now then, the best starter for Pale Moon. Silverstone so beats Tamer Emil. If you guys don't know her skill by now, she is a forerunner. Act ability. Put this unit into the soul. Look at the top five card. Put one grade one, one grade two, and one grade three into your soul. Um, considering how many times I got burned by this card ability, I tend to do the first turn automatically. Get her out of the way and keep it. Keep your fill clean. Next, I play two. Silverstone, Marinette, Natasha, draw triggers. Yes, it is questionable why to run draws in Silverstone, but considering we lack hand so much, it's good to have a couple of draws there, just in case. I run, which is questionable, two Pranks of Girls of the Mirrorland. Stand triggers. Um, yeah, that is here because her skill effect is basically put, when this unit, GB1, when this unit is put into soul, you can put her back to the top of your deck and search out for any type of card you want to put into soul. Easy filter, GB, it's a stand, resand a little lion to lay on. Next, you won four Silverstorm Barking Dragon Criticals. Um, this is a little bit crit heavy deck, and you pretty much want the Dragon Dares, Silverstorm name base, and they look cool. They're the clowns. Next is the one of my favorites, Silverstorm Assassin Dixie. So, what is her skill? When this unit, you can play the unit onto your deck. If you have a card named with Lucky Air, you can search out to one card from your soul and call it to open field and then shuffle your deck. However, if you do not have a Lucky Air Vanguard skill, you can still activate her effect by putting her back in deck and shuffling. If you have to place one into soul and call it out later and combo it with Zelma, it actually an excellent card. I recommend running four because her act full blast make the deck work perfectly. Next, heels. The only one to run in Silverthorn is Silverthorn Juggler Natasha heels. You need her. She is Silverthorn, and she's very cute. Next on the grade one, which we are starting off with Silverstone Tamer Puppet Master Euphemia. Not Nightmare Dog Master, but Puppet Master nonetheless. She is your Limb Break Enabler, which opens up for early game, activating both Lucier. Lucier acti actually activating all Lucier form skill early on for early pressure. Run two, because running more than that will make your deck kind of stiff. You only need to, and if you have her in hand and you have Luki already ready, add the Vanguard, activate it, and get that skill going on. <laughs> Mech is four of the best cards in Silverstone. It's Silverstone Assistant Zelma. You're gonna run out of adjectives eventually. <laughs> Fantastic, wonderful. I know, I'm an English major, leave me alone. So basically, Lee, um, it's pretty much your purple trapezes, but in Silverstone base. So you have to put one Silverstone in, in order to pull one Silverstone out. Funny enough, with this skill, if you call all four at once, you can activate each single one of the skill. Believe me, people have come and doubt me on that. 
However, I am able to because then the timing of it still goes off. So a much of the skill possible. Next is the Beast Tamer that is going to run early pressure for you. Zero Storm Beast Tamer Anna. Counter Blast 1. When Counter Blast 1, when this unit boosted attack hits, you are able to call one unit out from your soul. Early on pressure, going to make them drop their hands. 7k base on hit pressure. Silver Storm. <laughs> Questionable, but I am playing it until I can see if I want to change it out. But Dark Side Mirror Master, the GB a Pale Moon in Silver Storm deck. Um, so why Count Blast Heavy deck? This deck runs already not only Luke here, but both Anna and Marichika. We're going to make heavy, heavy crits everywhere. Run for her. She is needed. On to grade two. Silver Sarn, Magician Clemens. Run two. Why, people ask. Why Clemens at two? Because I, this deck is basically early pressure, and Clemens only activate when they're looking at Vanguard. So at most, having her at two, she still gained the 2k base. If she does hit, she goes into soul. However, Marichika is the better one of this card because Marichika is not restricted to Lukier Vanguard. Okay, this is my favorite thing about this entire video. Off screen, our friend James is just like pantomiming and waving and like, just, it's great, it's great. But then, why run a little break enabler then? If it also works on grade three only, not early. Don't doesn't help fucking poke holes in it, just keep going. Nick, you run two of the Super Stone Writing Dragon, 12 crate base, no matter what. Basically, have him at your rear guard at grade two, have him at your rear guard at grade three or grade four, add wonderful numbers from grade two to overall. This is the reason why I prefer Clemens over. I run four of both. Marichika is going to make your attack heavy counterplate. However, if you run three, you are making sure that you are not using and abusing that skill. Unlike Clemens, Marichika can activate at grade two at both vanguard and rear guard ability. It's like having a comment section in real life. All right. <laughs> the reason why you don't run four of both. Clemens only work for Lucier. Does limit break on Lambert? Yes, only work for Lucier. However. Oh, gee, Lucier is limit break three, by the way. Okay, because three counter blasters. This is limit break three. So basically, your whole point is have Marie Chica at your vanguard. For reason why is this card? You play him as your rear guard. Once, yeah, grade two. Reason why? They're going to drop guard now for your Marie Cub rolls and for your Anna rolls and make sure this guy does not hit numbers. Also, they will aim at him as soon as they see him. If it's going to cause them issue, they're going to go for it. However, people are trying to play this deck as in this is the only combo card. No. The way I played the fine combo. The Zelma combo. Calling out four Zelmas for one lion to gain power for that one lion and then basically Zelma put one in, call out at a lion to have nothing but numbers. Um, what other combo is there in the See that the only thing that people think. There is different combos and this is my deck that played the different combos. Why? What's your other combo? Is it even a combo? That's the question. I run two of the original Lucieres. I can always put her into soul. Don't doubt me on this. I have never once not hit her into soul. Reason why? I filter through the decks to the point of nothing but triggers. I have always used a stride Lucier to put her into soul. So, Automatically, don't use her for her skill, use her for her two, for the cross, right? I run two, yes, two reverse, look here. People are cringing at the moment. 
Why reverse look here? She doesn't do stuff. She still gets the cross ride effect. Her skill is actually stackable. You can keep on abusing that skill. When moreover, she goes to discard to strike. Yeah. I'll say it. This is my trade enablers in this build. Seems about right. Yeah. yeah. You run four of the Venus Lucier. Her skill is the best of Lucier at this point. Counterblast two. Put two cards, soul charge two. Call up to the combined total of Dray six. So. You can do this several ways. If you're using the Lemon Break Enabler for early game, you are automatically going to call out all your on-hit pressures. So that's early game, but Clemens is not. Clemens is early game. Once you hit grade three. That'd be mid. To this me. This is early game. Once you hit grade three, too. The Lemon Break Enabler. Oh my God! Would you shut up, please? Sorry. It's just, there's some contradictions there. It's turn. To me. Lemon Break. Enablers activate for earlier game, right? But for grade two game, Clemens is the worst. So is oh Marichika is not. You have no lines in this play. How, this how if you ever how I play my deck, I will take early hits. If somebody hit a critical and I act only grade one, perfect. I can have both Anna and Rachel cut out on field to activate their skills. It's on this green blue. So basically, Lee, I am activating skills earlier on just to hit them in the face. Same. That's why I run four of each. <laughs> you don't run four of each because it will screw up the whole dynamic. I just don't own dragon. So, now, after the crazy, yet debatable, deck... I think if you guys are going to argue this much, Mirror Match has to go down. A Mirror Match is going to go down. Mirror doesn't go down. Uh, mirror, like, the Mirror isn't a good to see whose deck is better, because you have to think about all the matches in general. I know. sometimes a Mirror comes down to either luck, or one build is good better in the Mirror, but not in other... I was more in it for the pissing contest. So, yeah. first, G-Guards. This one. Why? Protect your rears. Especially if they're going to aim for Marichika, Lion, or any of the others. Second, create elemental screw. Discard one, gain extra 10k guard. Perfect, because Pamela do not have a 10k guard. Next, more filtering with Pale Moon. A Chainsaw Mega Trick Carnival. Unlike originally, he is a carnival mixed with funeral. Not that way around, people. But anyway, look at the top seat card, put one to soul, put the rest to the bottom of the deck. Excellent filter. I approve. I run only one Madu, just in case the Lucier does have to go to it, but at the moment, it could not happen, it could, but it's always good to have that extra. I want to run, run one Dragon Masquerade Harry, Count of Blast 2, put one in into Soul, call up to 3, your opponent then put up to 2 units into Soul if I have a full field. Will I run him in a, such a counter blast heavy deck? There are going to be the people to make sure that you do not hit four. And you're going to have to force them in a other way. And Harry is not bad. If I have to run him and not and I can't pull off Venus here because I don't have that one non silver sword counter blast, he will be in. Run for Millworts. Dreamy Axel Millward, Act Ability, GB2, Soul Blast 1, to call up to 2 units, and no unit gain, 4k. And for how many of Dreamy Millward you have, that how many on hits you get. I combine this with Anna, Marichika, and Clemens, making it nothing but on hit feel. Making my opponent drop hand so that in the next turn when I activate Venus Lucier skill, I get to pretty much destroy them with the lions. Lucky completed without 
the curtain call announcer Mephisto. Activability um, for one card from hand. I mean, ha. activability. You pretty much unflip one. And for how many Magia units you have face up, you get to call out that many with extra 5k. And for how many face up by himself, you get the whole field that much. Considering I'm running about a good amount of Magia unit, Mephisto is a good starter if you don't want to go into Lucier so early. He'll give you the field and he'll give you as much pressure as you need. I have actually gone in matches against against Link Joker players dip by playing Magia in Silver Soul. Finally, <laughs> the best cards is Silverstone Dragon Master Mystic Lucier. That ability put choose two your rear guard, put them into soul, and call two new your rear guards. But you have to also soul charge. What good about her is that if you have cards that you want in soul, her she is what you will aim for. You put them into soul, activate skills, get that cross right early on. Get the cross ride get the get that stand trigger in there so you can put it back and put something else you want look here basically we fix your soul as first stride so again this is a questionable deck from the strides to the deck however this deck is meant for grade 2 rush so your opponent do not have hand for Lucier's and pretty much by first try they should be dead and that's how I play this deck even uh, other people might say run four Clemens or run four Marichika I say run three run two because it's going to be the better option the than anything else as consistent as ripples it's a pretty good grade 2 game. It's not Unlike... It's a shot of It is a consistent so. So what? Consistency to you guys is completely different from me. Well, my... Consistency in card game is the same for all, de all games. Unlike Ripples, this have on hit pressure at grade 2. Unlike Ripples, this have power you know base. What, wait, like, are we on the same page here on consistency? I'm just curious. Can we do this when we're not filming? I mean, you can just cut that part out. Okay. Rich are gonna have some fun yeah. editing this. There so thank you for the first of the many of the Pam will take over next next accord. Next up will probably be Nightmare Dolls. See you next time.